Thank you. We bless God for this opportunity that he has given unto us. My name is Lucia Koth. I'm a staff of AFCO, Europe, Kenya Extension, a former student the, at the same AFCO. And here I am to give God thanks for the opportunity that he has given unto us to grow this far as an AFCO family. First of all, we have seen grace and we have seen glory upon AFCO as staff members. Why? Because ever since this project began, many miracles have happened in the community of Bethel SDA Church. We call the surroundings Codero uh, Barra in Rongo, where uh, is the home uh, where we AFCO Europe is hosted and in all this we see a lot of visitors coming in and streaming in simply because the things taught here are very much helpful one thing i like to echo uh, the words of ellen white from the book councils on diet and foods where she said that each and every church should have an asylum where it could be a refuge for all that seek help in health, help in spiritual aspects, and also overall education. Today I might ask a question to each and every member of the church. If at all your church finds, at, uh, you, if at all you wake up one day, one time, you find your church uh, to, to have disappeared just in the blues all of a sudden, what will you do? Will you be happy or will you just be like, okay, it's just any other thing that was there and it's now gone? And at the same time, the, uh, the question you must ask yourself in the community, will they be sad that your church or you yourself is no more? Or will they like say, okay, it's just any other thing and we are glad they are not there anymore? So today, it's a question and a pose to all to really fill the space that Jesus has called us to. And this is what AFCO has done. I'd like to give a testimony of all the people that have visited AFCO. Though they're not here, but they have, we have saved life through the program because the health message that has been dispatched with all the able and the spirit-filled instructors in AFCO Europe has really done a lot to the uh, community of Bethel. Today I want to share of the, devo uh, the de uh, devotion from, from the book of John chapter 14 about the spirit. And uh, my main topic is about amnesia and dementia. In our church we could be facing a lot of uh, spiritual forgetfulness. When you go back to the meaning of amnesia and the, the acute uh, most part of it, which is dementia, we realize that them that are suffering from amnesia are them that have shock or stroke and them that also have or feed on very dangerous foods. So when it comes to a spiritual amnesia, you'll see that most people or most of us in the church, we get to feed on a lot of dangerous things that may make us have the spiritual amnesia. We forget of where we came from. So today I'd like to share the book of James chapter 14, uh, John chapter 14, verse 15 to 17 that says, if we follow God's commandment, he will send us a spirit, his spirit, that will teach us and convict us of all righteousness and truth. So, what does this mean? The same, same book uh, in, the, in the New Testament, Matthew chapter 12, is telling us on the unpardonable sin. Because he has promised us the spirit, but we have an unpardonable sin 
where we will, we will find that we will not be pardoned if we continue with a repetition of whatever we have been sinning. So today it's an urge unto us to go back and look at where we, we made a mistake, where we have the spiritual amnesia to, to remember of the past and of the things that we, are, we were called to uh, as the church. First of all, which is this unpardonable sin? Lest we forget Calvary, we might think that it could be murder. Paul murdered. Uh, Peter murdered. Paul also murdered because he persecuted lots of Christians. Mary Magdalene did a uh, prostitution. Peter also denied Jesus. But they were pardoned because we see in the book of Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and remember their sin no more. Their sins were pardoned. But why is, why is it that there is an unpardonable sin unto the church today? One thing, the unpardonable sin is, uh, is in the book of Matthew chapter 12, where we are told all these sins will be forgiven. Matthew 12, 32. But the others insulting the spirit will never be forgiven on us. We'll, we'll realize that we will, when we are not spirit filled, many things that we were called to do as a church will, will, will lay to waste. According to our forefathers, lest we forget our past, then nothing will, will come to pass. From the book of Life Sketches, according to Ellen White, we are told that we have nothing to fear for the future if we forget the past. We have nothing to fear, fear for the future unless we forget the past that God has been with us. God is our great Ebenezer and he has brought us together as a church in order for us to bring up and to bring up a force and a family that will bring uh, the three angels message to come to a reality. For this I call on, I call on to everyone to come and embrace this project in order for us to bring the wellness center and any other thing, any other thing that us, AFCO has, has, uh, has enabled the community to achieve and to, to, uh, to have an advantage of come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for all this opportunity. May the Lord bless you. AFCO Europe Kenya Campus. Christ's Method. In Action. <laughs> <laughs>